We're in the month of December and at that time when we start thinking a lot about Christmas. And Christmas is just around the corner. So uh, beginning from today uh, until Christmas Day, I will be focusing uh, my teachings on Christmas story. We'll look at the scriptures, various passages of scripture that point to Jesus Christ and his birth and what it means to us. So today we start with uh, a familiar prophecy from the book of Isaiah, and it's Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Uh, this is a prophecy of uh, Isaiah that is associated with the coming of Jesus Christ. A lot of the prophecies of the Bible had two um, references. Uh, so at the time the prophecy is being spoken, it has an application to something that is happening and something that will happen in the future. And this prophecy is one of them. It's a messianic prophecy. So this passage tells us three things about uh, the birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, the first is that his birth will be a sign from God. He says the Lord himself will give you a sign. The, the, the birth of Jesus Christ is a sign, and we say it's a sign because it's unique. Uh, no other birth is like his birth. So there is something special about the birth of Jesus Christ that sets him out as special and unique. So it's a sign. The second thing is that he will be born of a virgin. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son. Many people stumble at the notion of the virgin birth, that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. Uh, and they say, well, it's never happened, it's not possible. Well, that's why it's a sign. That if it wasn't a sign, then it, it would not be a virgin birth. The virgin birth is unique to Jesus. There will be nobody like that before, nobody after. There's never ever going to be a situation like this when uh, a child is conceived under these circumstances. So it's a sign from God. And the, the prophecy states clearly that it's going to be a virgin who will give birth. And the third thing is the name of Jesus. And I'll spend some time talking about it. Uh, his name shall be called Emmanuel. Now, we know that Jesus Christ was not called Emmanuel uh, as a proper name. But his name, Emmanuel, uh, was also a name that signified who he was. He was God with us, Emmanuel. So it wasn't a name he carried on and on. He was called Jesus or Yeshua. But Emmanuel signifies who he is. That is the name that identifies him, God with us. And it tells us that when Jesus comes into our lives, then God is coming into our lives. When he reaches out to us, God is reaching out to us. And he is with us, not just to watch our lives, but also to participate in our lives. He is in our lives to get involved in our lives. So when Jesus comes into our lives, he gets involved in our lives. And uh, he becomes our helper, he's our savior, he's our deliverer, he's our healer. Uh, and, and if your head is down, he will lift you up. Uh, if you are anxious, he gives you assurance of his presence. So he's God with us, and he's with us today. Now, the Christmas time can be a very, very stressful time. In the midst of all the celebration, uh, meeting with family and having fun, there are also practical things to do. People have to do shopping. Our parents have to look for money to buy stuff for their children. Um, sometimes gatherings have to take place, and they all cost money. Uh, parties cost money. So in the midst of the joy, there's also a lot of anxiety. Will I be able to do the things I'm supposed to do at this end of year uh, festival uh, for my children, for my family, uh, decorations, food, trees. God is with us. And so in your anxiety of planning and thinking about all the things you must do, remember God is with you. He's your provider. He's your helper. And trust him to take care of you throughout this Christmas season. Uh, and may this be the best Christmas you've ever celebrated. Let's pray. 
Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for your presence with me and your power at work in me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.